Hello, my name is Jim. And this is my fiance, Brandy. Together, we own a place called the Boom Boom Room in St. Louis, Missouri. We do these really cool dance shows, offer drinks and food, which led me to the idea of growing our own fruits and vegetables. So out of this journey, I came up with this concept, my 360 hydroponic vertical tower. Before I did, I made this, which worked well. Then I built this, which is working amazing. This is my tomato plants, August 17th. And this is them just two weeks later. We put that black piece of electrical tape on the wall 24 hours ago. That's four inches in 24 hours. It's amazing. But this vertical 360 tower will be able to get about 50 plants in a two by two square foot area. So the Boomer Room has an 800 square foot basement. That means it takes about one month for lettuce to propagate. That means we could make 8,000 heads of lettuce a month. Think about that. And now I'm gonna show you how I made it so you can do it too. This is the basic plan. This is a storage tub of purified water in nutrient solution. The nutrient solution goes up this black pipe and along the board and it just drips down the hole and it falls over the roots of the plants which allow it to get oxygen and water to grow. I use a mirror ball motor to rotate it so all the plants can get sun on all four sides. Then after it's done, it just drains back into the bucket. You can get just about everything you need from the hardware store. The top is made from this four inch coupler and this drain. The bottom is made with this four inch to two inch adapter, then a two inch to half inch coupler, and then this which allows you to put the one and a half inch pipe on the ground. It's kind of the only way you can do it for cheap from a hardware store stuff. For the top, you're gonna glue this drain into here and then just place it on the four inch pipe. And for the bottom, you just assemble all these parts and it allows all the water after it drips through the four inch pipe to just drain back into the reservoir. The next step is to take this drain, you gotta sand off these edges, and then we're gonna plop it in here, and then we're going to seal it up. And what's going to happen is, this is gonna end up shoving on top of that, and it'll create a seal so the water can only go inside. And this is kind of what it should look like to this point. To measure for the holes, I made it so each hole would not be immediately on top of the other, allowing the water to drip in different spots. So I split the thing in quarters, and then drew a diagonal line from the top of one to the side of the other. And then I put all the dots about on one half, um, eight inches apart, and then put the other ones on the opposite ones, four inches between, and that's enough room for the plants. Then using a two inch hole drill, I basically um, drilled all the holes. You then have to use a heat gun to heat the holes to basically make them soft enough so you can take a two inch pipe and put it in there and there you go you just bend it up because you're going to put a piece of two inch pvc up in the hole so the water can't come up and out of it glue is dry on the top, simply get a zip tie and hang it right in the middle. You'll be able to use that to hang it on the mirror ball motor. Next, you'll want to get a couple screws and basically secure the top part to the four inch PVC. So when you hang it, it doesn't fall apart. Next thing I'm working on is a sprinkler system. Um, in the sprinkler section of the Home Depot, you can find these things. It was a little bit difficult for me. I'm slower than most. This is a quarter inch cable. It's all made for sprinkling your yard, and this is half inch. It was surprisingly really cheap. I got a bag of these are really cheap. So these are little uh, drip heads, kind of sprinkler heads, and this is basically what you do. You take this little thing and you punch a hole in here, 
you put this little thing right here, and then you can attach this hose and put it to here. You can also get T's, those they can split if you just want to see what they are. Right here. So I just punch the hole, suck this thing on, and I'll be able to put that quarter inch pipe right on there. The only thing I couldn't find, personally, was a stopper. So I basically took a little piece of this tubing, cut it off, and filled it up with glue gun glue. But what you're also going to need is a pump to pump this. So what I got is you can find these on all over the place. You can also find them in the gardening section of Home Depot. I like them because there's an, one that's an auto off thing. But you gotta get one with an adapter that has a half inch, a half inch adapter, okay? Okay, now we're gonna test it. And here's my pump. Got water in my makeshift bucket. Coming up two, down the tube, I put basically three of these in. One, two, yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> on here to see how that was gonna work. All right, so I plug this in. Oh boy, that's not going. All right, well, that's working really good. See? So, as I showed you earlier, you get a bucket for nutrient solution. It pump, pumps it up to the top and it pours in and it feeds these plants. There'll be a lot of other things you'll wanna learn about hydroponics, like you gotta keep the water covered so it doesn't grow algae, how to do nutrient solution, um, which plants are the best, and you may need supplemental light because this only is on one side of the window, but you can figure that all out for yourself and which plants you wanna grow. So here are roots that were done August 26, six days ago. You can see about how long they are. And here they are, September 1st, right now, as I'm finishing up editing this video. It's pretty remarkable. So as I finish this video, here is the tower completed in downtown St. Louis, growing food in an urban environment. But what you can also see is since the week since I built this thing, the plants are bigger than when I started. I am really excited to be growing food for me, for the Boom Boom Room, and to get this figured out. Who knows, I may just start a new company and start our own urban farm and sell to everybody in town. Anyway, until then, please come visit us. Thanks a lot.